Okay, so with this ominous music and the save point, I've decided to take the Magnum along with me. 15 shots of that were generally in use. Let's see what the hell lurks in here. That looks like an owl's face. Oh God, that means zombies, isn't it? A Bernie. In a diesel. Right, if I get a headshot on you, apparently. Uh, it's just uh, basically. Um, if I can. Yeah. Really pop their heads with this pistol, can we? Dead. Right, you. Oh, excellent. How cool is this? Can you guess you fill it up? Yes, we do. I wish I'd known that sooner. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Crispy zombie. Oh god, that's terrible shooting. Headshot with the pistol is possible. Do I need to burn you? I want to burn you. I love it. Nice and tidy. I don't think you were coming back from that headshot, but it's wonderful. Burn the bodies. So I'm like a bit of a Resident Evil janitor, aren't I? Right, the cleanup continues. Can't oh, down here anything. Another MO disc. Part of the desk is covered in what appears to be some kind of acid. Why? Acid, why? I'm not going in there yet. Does that mean poison? It's down here then. Quickly, while well, um, uh, your friend comes along. No, I cannot. Burn you bastards! Spread on him, Chris. Burn him, Chris. A huge spinning fan. Could it be drawing air for? Hold on, zombie. While we read this, you can wait a minute. Is it drawing air from outside? Now he's walking over the flames. Catch fire, damn you. Catch fire, damn you, Doc. Doc. Why didn't you catch fire, Doc? Ay, 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 I'm in a bad way. Yeah, it's all very well having those daggers. They didn't bloody work, did they? Yeah, great. Anything else in here? Apparently, yes. It's a red toolbox. Ah, excellent. Handgun. Okay, let's go and heal up. Oh, 
another one of these discs. What does this say about this disc? MO disc appears to be rebooting, yes, we've got so two of these required for the reboots of the franchise. Now then, now then, I think it's time to use a big boy, isn't it? We'll leave the kerosene for a while. Let's take a bit of health with us. Good. What's this here? Oh, if only they stacked. Why don't you stack? I've got chemicals. I've got some other something here. The cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags. Could they others? They're not called cadaver bags. What's that? It's like a radiation uh, sign here. Yeah? Biohazard, that's right. Biologically hazardous material. At least we're not stuck. We have stuff to be going, getting on with. What's in this door here? Power area is carved onto the lock. Okay, this one. Another locked one. Will you take the x-ray? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yeah. Ugh. Red light. Researcher's letter, June the 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The result of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make the whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you could log into the system using my name and your name as a password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located as a safety measure. I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a row enter genogram. I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John and Ada, then. That's the passwords. Yes, John and Ada. Ed Fisher. 
Oh, it is glowing red. Do we put the X-ray up on here? Do you think? Oh, there's more of it. Oh God, don't. The memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. It's not very fine and dandy. So what the hell do I do now? John and Ada. We didn't research the uh, rest of this. Possibly all locked, isn't it? Leave us releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks and the levers. So the levers are locked. Yes. Good. That looks like where Mr. Boss would be hanging out, doesn't it? So I know when to uh, get Mr. Magnum ready. John and Ada, time to plug you in. Alright, let's get these in. John. Ada. Ada Wong. Verified. Basement 3F. Basement 3F is unlocked. Okay, what the hell is down there? Oh, wow. Yes, we are quitting because we cannot need a different password for the other basements. I don't want to go and look at the cadavers. Cadavers. Down we go, folks. Two. Where the hell are we? Oh, hang on. I think I want this, don't I? Yeah. Okay. What's in here? Anything? Magnum, 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 all day long. Oh god, you blocked up my. It's okay though, because we. Uh... What the hell is this? Slide cartridge? Oh. Quite know what that is. Something to make an horrible noise in here. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Is it that, um, it's not is it? I think you're dead. Okay, there's blood. Jesus. Isn't there anything interesting? Oh god, I don't want to go in. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Do I have to? Sturdy door. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Or well, which one is it? There's a fax just coming. Or it's coming. Fax. 
to Sanitation Division Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measure against them first. Bloody umbrella do not conduct themselves at all well, do they? Like shell oil. Uh, God, there'd be a big claim up, wouldn't there, for this outbreak. So do we come back with an MO disc? Oh, let's just make room for this slide filter. I don't know where that plugs in. Slide filter. Oh, the slides. There are red coloured slides inside, nothing on it. So, we don't know what to do. We need a machine that plays slides, don't we? A slide projector is needed. that the room that we I think we've done this one haven't we need an MO disc to win. But first we need to empty out again let's take a break here I'm a bit boogered Okay, okay, guys, I've decided to leave it there. Um, next time we'll plug in the MO disc and continue with the x-rays and check out this basement area. Thanks for watching.